All right, time now for our Focus 50 Plus. Dr. George Schofield joins Good us. Good morning. Good morning. So what are we so talking today, about today? So today, you know, we often talk about people who are older, mm -hmm. 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 100s. I'd really like to speak to the 50-year-olds today. All right. Or the people who have kids who are 50. Okay. Because there are a lot of those out there. So I'm too. envisioning they need a different type of life planning Yeah, I want now to talk about life planning. If you're 50, and, yeah. it's very different. First of all, it's going to be so different it might as well be as if you're, you move to the moon. Because really? the questions are no longer yeah. going to be, do you want to retire at 65? How much money do you need? Well, how, yeah. you, how long have you been in this job and how, how long you can stay? Can you stay? None of those things are likely to be real for people who are 50. Do you have a set of rules for these folks I do. then? Okay. I do. I actually have six strong rules, okay. recommendations. We're going to do three this morning and we'll do three again next week. Okay. Okay. The first rule is plan on living to be a hundred. Like That's that so different. You're only, if you're 50, you're only halfway through your life. Right, right. right. And it's not like you're going to work 15 more years and all of a sudden there's going to be a pension plan. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. going to be very important for you to plan to, to live to be 100. Second of all, expect to work well into your 80s. Hmm. Okay. Because aging is going to look different, and a lot of us are going to have to work a lot longer than our parents did or, mm -hmm. or our grandparents did. Third of all, track where work for pay is going because there's no such thing as a permanent industry or a permanent job or a permanent set of skills yeah. anymore. And for those who get surprised when they lose their income stream yeah. and they've done nothing to make sure that they're still marketable, that's a problem. So keep yourself marketable. So where's the best place to start for somebody like that? So the best place to start, I think, is with a conversation. So if you're going to li plan on living to be over 100, okay, mm -hmm. and you're going to work into your 80s, the th and, and by the way, you're, you're, you're going to track where work for pay is going so you're still marketable. Right. The place to start is with conversation. Okay. Not with people who are a lot older than you are necessarily because they're not the ones who are going to go through that. Right. If it were me, I'd put on a dinner party and I'd say, okay, we're going to have three other couples all about 50 and we're going to have a conversation about what planning was going to, is going to look like for us because we can learn from each other. Probably the weakest way to go about it is to try to think it all out in your head mm. as if you can't learn from anybody else and it's not going to happen to them. Wow. So that, for me, that's the place to start. Start taking notes. Make it a part of a, of a family meeting. Do your kids need to understand that this is a very different world and they're coming along behind you and you're actually the new model? Time to talk about it. Okay. All right, we're going to talk about those three and the other rules. Next yes, week. and next week we'll do that. So if you're 50, come on back. And if you have kids who are 50 especially, come on back next week. We have three more really important rules for you. Okay, we'll see you right after this break.